I guess it's Frenchy and let's be honest, most clients can't describe what they want, but they do know it when they see it. In this video, I'm breaking down three commercial looks that get me consistently booked. We're not just talking pretty colors here. I show you why these looks work, how they play with emotion and brand identity, and how you can use them to elevate your own work. Whether you are grading for your next spec ad or grading for a well-renowned brand, these are powerful tools to have in your toolbox. Before we jump right in, this video is brought to you by me. If you're new here, bonjour, I'm Frenchie. I'm a professional colorist working all around the world and I teach color grading here on YouTube. I made a pack of handcrafted LUTs called Frenchie's Signature LUTs. Built from the same look I use to grade for brands like Audi, Swatch or Victoria's Secrets. Whether you are shooting fashion beauty or moody little indie short film, these LUTs are designed to make your work look effortlessly expensive. Whether you are a freelance colorist or an editor grading your own work, this pack will help you to get a more professional look fast. Hit the link in the description to check it out. And now, let's jump into the video. So first, let's talk about the glossy luxury look. This one is all about control. Controlled contrast, controlled saturation, controlled elegance. Think rich but clean blacks, creamy highlights, and skin that feels like velvet. This is not the time for punchy colors. We want refined. Clients selling luxury don't just want their product to look expensive. They want the image to feel expensive. So how do we do that? So first, I go to my project settings and set the timeline color space to DaVinci White Gamut and the output color space to Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. This shot is already in a group. To add a shot in a group, right click and select Add into a new group. To be able to color grade inside DaVinci White Gamut, I added a color space transform in the group pre-clip. As this is a ARRI camera, we are going from ARRI White Gamut 3, ARRI LOX C3 to DaVinci White Gamut. I added a color space transform in the group post clip going from DaVinci White Gamut to Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. Now that this is done, I go to my Frenchie lookup tables and choose a look from the luxury folder in DWG. The advantage with these lots in DWG is that they are creative lots. So that means that if, for example, the lot is too strong, you can regulate the opacity of the node. I like faux silk and double click to add it to my node. So this is the Rec 709 and here with the lot, I love it. It makes the skin really velvety. We are going to create a node before our look and make a parallel node to have two nodes fed by the source. Let's start with our balance. I go to my HDR wheels and on the global wheel, I raise to around 0 0.10. I like the global wheel because it brings up the brightness in a photometric way. I tone down the light to around negative 0.04 and the highlights to recover some details of the dress to negative 0.60. Let's tackle the hues. I go to my chroma warp and switch to the vector scope to see my color's behavior. I want to have a stronger separation from my subject and the wall to have a sort of 60-30-10. 60% of the colors from the background, 30% from her skin and 10% from her dress. I select the wall behind her and settle for a more cyan background. Now that I move the color of the wall, her skin seems very saturated and looks orange. And remember, we want something subtle that looks expensive. So for this, I desaturate and add a bit of magenta to the skin. And as you see, for this kind of look, skin is primordial. Now it feels like I want to buy a bag I can't afford. Let's work a bit more on the face and add a face refinement after our parallel. Detect and track the face. Now that this is tracked, I will remove some shine. You can see how much it cleans it. Because I find the shadow on the left side of face too harsh, I go to side lighting and raise the gamma left. I always choose gamma because for me, it gives me the most natural result. 
To finish the look, I make a vignette by selecting a power window, making sure I select around my talent, and select the invert button to select outside of the window. I go to the curves, create a point, and go down to lower the brightness around her. The result, the entire frame feels premium. And why does this look work? Because the visual experience reflects the brand experience. Smooth, aspirational, effortless. Second look, the natural cinematic look. So this one is my go-to for lifestyle and fashion and any brands that wants to feel real. Here, we're not trying to scream grading. We want people to feel it, but not see it. As film print in Resolve like Kodak 2383 are often too strong for commercial grading, I usually start with a soft filmic base. Think gentle contrast, smooth shadows, and highlight roll-off that feels organic. Let's go to the Frenchy lookup tables and select touch point to have a nice soft filmic look. In our balance, we bring up our global wheel to 0.47. I create a node after it dedicated to adding my color boost. I raise the color boost to 5.50 to have a bit of colors coming out. In my hue, I select in the chroma warp the color vector of the water to bring it to something a bit more cyan for a more pleasing separation. In the natural cinematic look, the secret is to use the color slice when we want to add a bit of subtractive saturation to some elements. I want the skin to reflect more the warmth of the sun on it. By raising my subtractive saturation, I add saturation and lower the brightness of the color at the same time. The result is pretty natural and filmic. I bring up a touch the cyan to 1.09 to accentuate the C. As this is a commercial, the side of her face is maybe a bit too contrasty. What we will do is raising up the shadow on the side to see this part of her better. I go to the HDR wheels and raise the shadows to 0.40 and you can see it recovers a lot we can finish the grade with a vignette. Why does it work? It tells the viewer, this is real, this is human, this brand gets you. It's also super adaptable. I've used this look for coffee brands, perfume, tech, or even cars. It's simple but cinematic. Clients love it. Third look, the bold commercial pop. So this look is for the campaigns that want attention. Now think youth-driven brands, streetwear, sportwear. This look is saturated, but not sloppy. The secret, we are not cranking the saturation wheel. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's go to the Frenchy lookup tables and select Ticktone to have a nice starting point with our bold pop look. In the balance, I will tone down the light to have a better roll off with the highlights and bring up the global to 0.36. You can see it really opens up the image. When you are working on a pop grade, the secret source is in the color separation. I want to make the jumper more noticeable. In the chroma warp, I saturate a bit more the yellow and bring it towards orange and bring down the exposure to stay in a natural tone. I create another parallel to take care of the hand that is having a not uniform color. I create a window, come back to the chroma warp and move around the vector of color until my color is uniform. Pop grade doesn't mean saturated only, it needs to be clean for it to work. I will relight their faces just a tad for us to see their expressions better. For this, I create a window around her face I check in shadows if it will be the segment that will allow me to raise her. Doesn't seem like it. I will then choose light and raise to 0.51. You can see that the result is pretty natural. I'm super happy. Let's create another circle for him to have the same parameters. I'm satisfied with that. Let's track these and finish on a vignette. So three looks, three very different moods, but all of them do one thing. They serve the story and they solve a brand problem. If this gave you ideas, if it inspired you to test something new, give it a like and leave a comment with your favorite look. If you want to learn more about color grading, subscribe to the channel. See you guys.